morning next month. Tens of thousands of fans will be in Indianapolis for the NBA All-Star Game. Huge weekend that'll be putting a spotlight right here on Indy. And bringing a lot of people into the city with those visitors comes a heightened awareness about a much darker trend, though, human sex trafficking. Our Gina Glaros is here explaining more about the problem and what advocates and lawmakers are doing to really try to curb this. Good morning to you, ladies. Yes, believe it or not, this is a problem year-round reported in every county County in Indiana. Victims and advocates gathered at the State House Tuesday to introduce multiple bills to educate Hoosiers on the issue. One bill introduced this year would require hotels and motels to provide human trafficking awareness training to all of their employees. Another bill would require school employees to complete child sexual trafficking prevention training, but we can all do our part now. Prostitution is a problem in our communities as well as at our big events. And so if you see something, it doesn't seem right. If you see a person who's vulnerable, speak up because that's the best way for them to get help. The National Human Rights Trafficking Hotline says 176 people were victims here in Indiana in 2021 alone, many under the age of 16. Mm -hmm. Ahead at 630, we'll talk about some of the signs that we can all look out for mm -hmm. when it comes to victims being under the control of someone else, something yeah. that we don't really think about until mm -hmm. we see those numbers right, right yeah. front and center. And something that we can all do, do our part to just mm -hmm. maybe tip off something that we don't feel it maybe is not right. Thank you, Gina.